guys, uh, my Flip FPV quad frame just arrived by Hover Things. Um, I wanted to put it together kind of real quick and show you guys what it looks like. This thing is awesome. Um, I have got the house motors from Ready to Fly Quads, White Spy. Shout out to Paul Baxter over there. Got those installed uh, real quick. And the way the frame is set up here, um, this looks to be G10. And uh, these arms are six millimeters thick. And I know with a lot of the D DJI products, um, those arms have a tendency to snap pretty easy, but these suckers are built to last. I'm uh, really impressed with the way this guy um, is put together and how it gives you all these little uh, slots to secure your equipment. It's pretty cool. But uh, just so you can get a look here where the spacers go, I had to hunt around on the internet to get uh, instructions. And uh, your medium spacers hold the, the upper and lower frame sets together. The baby spacers, the little tiny ones right here, um, they hold your arms on. And there's a long bolt that goes through the bottom, through the arm, up into the spacer. And then your tall standoffs are for your equipment. And uh, I mentioned something in the uh, instructions about mounting the battery uh, up top and moving it according to where your camera equipment is for proper CG. Something about mounting a LiPo on the bottom and it does something to radio frequencies. Not familiar with this, FPV quad uh, stuff is a new world for me, but uh, I'm going to share this project with you as I uh, go through it. So far this is really cool, I'm really excited about it, really neat design. Plenty of places to hide stuff and tuck your wires. Um, my speed controllers also came and uh, they're going to fit right in between here. So everything's going to be a real nice clean install. Um, it'll be cool, definitely. They give you your own little uh, proprietary little uh, driver to uh, put everything together. But uh, so far, so good. I'll keep you guys posted uh, as the build continues. See ya.